Alrighty, so today we're doing some interior work on the Miata. This is the uh, brace bar from behind the dash that I took off earlier. Um, <clears throat> we are painting this today because it looks like a rusted piece of garbage. Um, so, painting that. Uh, I started taking these clips off here. Um, you can't really, I tried using pliers and whatever and getting under them, uh, but you can't really get under there, so I'm using a hacksaw and that's been working pretty well. Um, so, I'm cutting that off. Uh, this wire is going to come off here in a sec. Um, then, I'm going to wire brush it down and um, paint it. I got some rust uh, reformer. I don't know, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to spray over it with some black paint that I have. <coughs> um, so yeah, then we'll have a uh, decent looking black bar, hopefully, for the uh, inside of the car. So that's the plan for today. I'll keep it, um, I'll make another video after I scrape the rust off and all the clips and everything. Alrighty, so I just painted the <coughs> dash thing. What's going to be the dashboard? This is uh, with that rust remover stuff. It's just a flat back, black, pretty much a primer in a can. Um, yeah, so anyway, let me pause this before I get copyrighted or something. Um, anyway, so this is where we're at now. I've got two more cans of paint. Um, they are gloss black. I'm kind of digging the flat, but I'm going gloss just because I have it here and I'm too lazy to go buy more. So anyway, that's getting painted all update after uh, after I paint them with those. Alrighty, so this is the other side of the um, dash mount. Uh, and you see it's pretty clean. Um, it's obviously, I don't really, I mean it's not the best, but it's pretty decent actually. It turned out pretty well. Um, that rust remover stuff covered up a lot of the, uh, you know, the pitting from the rust and everything. So it ended up turning out alright. Um, so anyway, it's gloss black. I should have probably removed these brackets, but I'll find something to mount there because that was for the uh, um, glove box. Anyway, and then there's going to be a switch panel where the radio went, so that's definitely staying. Um, and then this is the uh, part where the steering column comes up and everything. Uh, the gauges, I think, are going to get mounted back up there. Uh, so anyway, that'll be, that'll be that. I probably don't need these either, but whatever, they're good support pieces, so I'll probably keep them in there. Um, I might Dremel off this tab because I won't really need it and those tabs, but we'll see what happens a little bit later down the road. So anyway, right now it's just sitting here drying. Um, and then once it's dry, I'll probably put it in the car, but that might be tomorrow. Um, I don't really know. I'm kind of running out of daylight. The sun's starting to set, so it'll be uh, dark here pretty soon. And, um, you know, whatever. So anyway, I might do that tomorrow. Whatever. But anyway, this is where we stand right now. Dash thing is all painted up. Looking pretty decent. Um, yeah, so anyway, 